Is the oil rally overextended? And Dan, that's what I think the question is, because those fundamentals really have not changed that much. Right. The fundamentals haven't changed. And, and uh, you know, in, in a lot of ways, these are these are very Look, values underneath $65 for oil are bad for oil companies. There's a lot of unsustainable asset at prices very low. So you're going to have these rallies where you get uh, one, two, three dollar rallies in crude, and everyone's going to turn around and say, what's happening in oil? It's really rallying. And the truth is that we're really in this kind of death zone between 45 and 55, uh, and nothing really, the, the price inside of those boundaries right. don't really matter much for oil companies. Yeah, because these stocks are trading with, they're not trading like they have 70, 75 on the balance sheet. They're and trading like they have 45 to 50. And that's exactly what's going on. What's, what's happening is that the oil stocks are kind of running away every time um, these, these, that oil uh, uh, runs up a couple of bucks based on whatever, uh, you know, uh, some issue that's going on in Yemen, an Iranian deal that may or may not come apart um, because the dollar has gotten a little bit weaker in the last two or three weeks. And then the oil companies really start to run. And what you're seeing is what I think you're seeing is really an overpricing of oil companies. It just seems like the commodity space in general is trading in sympathy only off the dollar. So if you take a look at a name like a Simrex, for example, I mean, do you get involved at this? Simrex. Point? Simrex is, you know, a very good one to point out because I actually own it and it's one of my favorites and I've you know I own it from down closer to $100 a share uh, when it was pricing oil at around 50 or 52 or 53 dollars a barrel but at $125 a share where it is now it's basically pricing oil at $75 a barrel and I cannot despite the fact that I own it and I you know I'm up a lot of money in it I cannot recommend to anybody to start a position on Simrex when it's pricing oil at $75 a barrel, when oil itself I do not think will go above $55 a barrel for several more months to come. So this is not a moment where I'm going to say to people, you know, this, this is the time to get into oil stocks. However, there is this sympathetic movement that's going on in oil. And for right now, you know, I'm telling people you got to stay in places, you got to mark time, some places that are paying dividends. Sometimes the refiners, in fact, I've recommended those again, they, they've come down to a level where, again, you know, there's some interest uh, that I have, and I think there's some value to be played in there. Mm -hmm. But for these high beta names and these E&Ps and the shale players, I still don't think it's It just doesn't make in. sense to make a, a buck or two to the upside when your downside could be significantly more. It just doesn't make sense to chase that. Indeed. Something comes apart. Some geopolitical number comes apart. Mm -hmm. Like today, we get another big build in, in stockpiles, and, and, you know, prices come off another buck and a half. And, and uh, you know, whether those oil stocks will react to regular what's happening in the oil market, market, you know, I can't say. I just can't recommend it. All right. That. Thanks very much, Dan. Right. For The Street in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino.